In this chapter, we will discuss how to create various types of hardscape objects using both the hardscape tool, its modes, as well as the create objects from shapes command. To begin, we'll use the hardscape tool directly to create a hardscape object. The hardscape tool is located in the site planning tool set. The site planning tool set, as you remember, is in the bottom left corner of the screen. The hardscape tool itself has multiple modes. Once we enable the tool in the tool set, in the toolbar you'll see these modes. First, there is an option to choose a predefined hardscape style. Using the resource selector, a hardscape style can be selected from either one of the Vectorworks library files or a custom library file. We will cover this option in more detail in another chapter. Next up in the toolbar, we have two different configuration options. Hardscapes can be drawn using a boundary or a pathway configuration. The boundary configuration mode defines an area for the hardscape. This mode uses the same modes as the polyline tool to create a boundary for the hardscape. Using these polyline modes, both corner and various curved vertices can be created. If you're not familiar with the polyline tool and its modes, stop here Go back to the Freeform Modeling Guide and check out the chapters there. They'll cover the, the various modes of this tool and other similar tools uh, in more detail. This mode is great for creating non-linear hardscapes such as plazas, courtyards, patios, and even pool decks. Let's quickly review how this mode works. The Boundary Configuration mode follows all the same rules as the Polyline tool. This uses a continuous clicking behavior. Click once to start the first segment. Click again to end the segment and begin the next. Continue clicking to add segments. You can change vertex modes in the toolbar to create different curve vertices. You can also use the P key on your keyboard, so P is in Papa, to quickly switch between vertex modes. To complete the boundary, either click a single time back at the starting point to create a closed shape, or double click to create an open shape. Now the pathway configuration mode uh, creates a different type of hardscape. This is going to be a pathway based off of the polyline path that is drawn. This is great for paved walkways, sidewalks, bike trails, and garden paths. The pathway configuration uses the next three pathway edge modes in addition to the poly vertex modes. The Pathway Center Edge mode aligns the drawn path to the center of the hardscape. The Pathway Left Edge mode aligns the drawn path to the left edge of the hardscape. And the Pathway Right Edge mode aligns the path to the right edge of the hardscape. These alignment modes make it easy to align a pathway hardscape with other landscape and architectural elements, such as buildings, other hardscapes, roads, or planting areas. The last option in the toolbar for the hardscape tool is the hardscape tool preferences. Again, the wrench and pencil icon you see here in the toolbar is the universal icon in Vectorworks for preferences or settings. We're going to go ahead and cover all the settings for the hardscapes in the next chapter. However, clicking on the Hardscape Tool Preferences button will allow you to see these settings and configure them before creating a hardscape. If you're interested in those uh, options, go ahead and check out the next chapter. In addition to using these various modes to directly draw a hardscape, it is also possible to convert existing geometry into a hardscape object. This can be very useful. It's fairly common to have existing geometry that can be used for a hardscape, uh, or it may be even faster to generate the needed shape using a combination of tools rather than directly with the polyline modes of the hardscape tool itself. For example, we could use the inner boundary mode of the polygon tool to quickly create a shape from an existing area uh, that is already bound by other objects. Then when we have this object created, we just need to right click or control click if you're on a Mac uh, on the object and then just choose the create objects from shapes command. The create objects from shapes command is a very powerful uh, option here in Vectorworks. 
Using this command, we can create many different types of objects, including hardscapes. Now, after choosing hardscapes from the list, we have a few additional options. Checking the Show Properties dialog option will bring up the Hardscape Settings dialog right after we exit this window. This will allow us to configure the hardscape during creation. The Delete Source Shapes option will go ahead and delete this source object after we create the hardscape. Uh, this can be good if you uh, don't want to have a lot of duplicates in the, in the file. Uh, also, there, there may be an instance where you might want to reuse this shape for something else where you would leave this option unchecked. In this case, we're going to go ahead and uncheck the Show Properties dialog since we're going to talk about these settings in the next chapter. But we are going to go ahead and check the Delete Source Shapes so we only have one object. After clicking OK, the Hardscape object will be generated from this object. Using this command to create hardscapes from existing objects gives us the ability to use many other tools and commands to create the shapes in the most efficient manner. Now that we have the hardscape generated from this object, we still have the ability to edit the path or boundary if we need to. Just double click on the hardscape object itself, and what this will do is activate the reshape tool from the basic palette, and then we can go ahead and directly edit the boundary or path if needed. In addition to reshaping the path or boundary, the add and clip surface commands can also be used on hardscape objects, letting us cut out holes or add additional portions to this very quickly. If we needed to add an addition to one side, for example, we can simply draw a rectangle that overlaps a portion of the existing hardscape, then select both objects, and run the Add Surface command found in the Modify menu. Or let's say we needed to cut a hole out in the middle of the hardscape to make a cutout for a tree or another plant. We can just draw the circle directly over top the hardscape, then select both the circle and the hardscape object, and run the Clip Surface command found in the Modify menu. That will go ahead and remove that portion or that area within that circle, and we have a nice defined hole. Now that we've gone through and taken a look at the different modes of the Hardscape tool, and created a few different types of Hardscape objects, as well as gone ahead and edited those as well, in the next chapter, we're going to take a closer look at all the settings and options there are for Hardscape objects.